Hi guys, how are we all doing? Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Rodian and today we're going to be getting on with these dormer cheeks up on the roof. Get this half of the roof completely finished. But before we do that, I just want to say if you enjoy this video, then please do subscribe. We've got loads more of this on this channel and leave a like. Right, a lot of you guys have said in uh, previous comments that with this felt, I should have stapled it down with a staple gun rather than battens. Now, I've been hunting through my shed at home and guess what I found? I found two of the bad boys. We've got this cheap old Toby and this meaty looking and very nice and reflective hefty old one but funny enough I don't actually think this one works I've put staples in them but I jammed the ones in there and I don't think they're the right size so I think we're going for the uh, for the cheapo one because that one seems to be working right so what we're going to do is we're going to take the old gun up there get a bit of felt wrap this in felt and uh, space out a few of these battens and get this all tidied up there nicely uh, I'm going to set out from the top and work my way down. I believe you have to have eaves, eaves tiles at the top and at the bottom, but please do let me know in the comments if I'm doing anything wrong because I am not a roofer and you guys have been such help with this roof, so please do keep going. So, right, okay, we're going to jump up there, we're going to make a start on this and yeah, hopefully get it smashed out. Was completely finished and by the gods is it hot it it wasn't so bad this morning but bloody hell was it sweltering at the moment well as i've said before i have never done a dormer before so please if it looks like i've done anything wrong let me know down in the comments and uh, i will rectify it but this is what we're looking at i've done cut at an angle going up in line with the rafters and on the front i've done a return of these little these little cuts here and it's in line with the inside of the window as you can see here i just lapped this bit of felt around there i'm not like i said i'm not sure exactly what i'm doing here but i think i've got pretty much i think i've got it down a few of you guys back a couple of videos back did say down in the comments a few good points about this so i believe i've done this right and also that stapler mate that's well easier than using those clout nails so thank you for ever said that that's really appreciated but yeah have a good old look if there's anything you think that's not right then please do let me know up here in sort of the eaves i've done it so hopefully one big tile holds in there and we've got this eaves tile that should lap over the top like so now do I need something to go up here, like a bit of this white fascia? It just comes down just to cover those plug holes or down to this line here. Just because I think that, A, it's going to look a bit daft. And also, the weather might get in. So should I trim it up to here with a bit of fascia or a bit of soffit or something like that? Yeah, again, let me know down in the comments, please. Thank you very much. Well, there we go. There's the roof all ready for the tiles. Battening is completely done, apart from that little section at the top, which we spoke about a couple of episodes ago. I'll felt that bit over once I've done the front. So 
Yeah, look at that, beautiful, absolutely loving it. Well, that's it for this episode, guys. Leave a like down below if you've enjoyed it, subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you guys next episode. I'm gonna go and spend some time with my lovely girlfriend. Say hello, Holly. <laughs> She's the shy type. Right, hope you all have a great Easter weekend, and I will see you all next week. So take care, see you later.